We saw a lot of very high quality power hitting come through in this tournament, Rohan. Again, mm -hmm. as someone who's played the game at the highest level, are you seeing this elevated to even greater heights with every passing season? And where are we headed? Without doubt. Without doubt. And we've seen power hitting not just at the death end or the back end of the innings. Yes. We've seen it with Johnny Besto and David Warner opening the innings. They were amazing. Uh, then we've seen Kyron Pollard. He came into bat at number four in one game at the one Khade. scored a magnificent 80. Yes. Uh, we saw uh, Hardik Pandya scored at 90 uh, against KKR at Eden Gardens. What an innings that was. Yes. It's, it's gone to another level. There's absolutely no doubt about that. When you look at Pollard and you look at Andre Russell, uh, you think, man, these guys are well-built, big units and they've got the muscle and the power to, to absolutely tonk it. And then you come across Hardik Pandya, yeah. skinny, wiry and then he's smashing it. Yeah. So, you, power hitting is, I wouldn't say it's the name of the game, but it's become such an integral part of uh, T20 and, and 50 over cricket. Uh, and I have no doubt that it's going to go even even further. I mean, it boggles the mind. Yeah, <laughs> like, how much further yeah. can it go? But I have no doubt it will. That's that's evolution. So, if you go back in time, 2008 and 9 season, 9 was played in South Africa, but 2008, the par score used to be 135-140. A team making 175-180, barring the first innings of Brendan McCullum. Now, you know, because of the power hitting, Forget about today's final, but you've been getting more frequently scores of 180, 190. Do you see these as transferable skills into the 50 over format that we are going to look at next? Because some, all of these players will feature for their respective national sides. Yes, I think that's going to happen clearly. Because as we've seen, even in test cricket, people play the dill scoop now, for instance. Or a switch hit, or a reverse sweep, which is unthinkable in test cricket. It's borrowed from limited overs cricket. I think in T20, where... The issue is, for, and I'm speaking on behalf of the bowlers, the boundaries are 63, 65 yards and they're a little unfair. I mean, power hitters like Andrew Russell and Gale and uh, they're hitting it for 90 yards. But otherwise, no, miss hits are going for miss six. Miss hits are going for six. That's the problem. But in ODIs, on bigger grounds like you might get in England, uh, with the field, you know, stipulations being a little different, I think that they will have to use their heads. Yeah. Before they get, they say, oh, power hitting, you know. But it will certainly be reflected. What was the score? England versus Pakistan, ODI match, two days back. 373 and Pakistan failing by 12 runs. Yeah. 300, 325 become more or less par for the cause. Yeah. 